free yourself the time is now free yourself the time is now let me tell you why i chose this uh, topic the first reason that i saw from my personal experience was bondage i was holding myself in a bondage for a long time i was holding things that affected my life negatively the second reason why i chose to talk about this topic about freedom or freeing yourself the time is now is limitation when a person is in bondage they are limited they are so limited take it like this imagine a bondage as a as a room as a room a tiny and small room that is so hard for you to move around imagine yourself being in a chain that you are chained on hands and on your feet you are chained you can't be able to move around for me that's a limitation you are being limited because you are only put it on that on that side or on that corner for you to for you to move is going to be hard so being if you are not free if you don't have that freedom you won't be able to move around so have a little more patience i'm going to talk about this topic today that is so empowering and that is going to help you to be in a freedom in a freedom living your life authentically and truthful way it's so important to free ourselves before we think of wanting to manifest anything in our lives we must be we must let go we must leave attachments we must be ourselves the word freedom sound sound easy but it it comes with effort and determination and also with being able to lose to lose things in to lose things in our lives like behavior beliefs even relationships when you are willing to free yourself you have to be able to you have to be able to lose or to have that uh, mind of open minded to lose anything so that you can open another door of new things in your life if you are not letting go you miss the opportunity to experience life and its lovely opportunities and when you when you are holding you are holding on things that doesn't serve you you don't make the space for the new things you are meant to have and what you are deserving and the blessings that you 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 have to experience in your life what are those things that we hold on that uh, that make us to be on a stagnation that doesn't serve us to, to our highest good number one not being truthful to ourselves not being authentic to life or to ourselves many people are afraid uh, to be honest to themselves and to other people because they think that they will hurt other people uh, and one of the most important things that hold us back is honesty authentically is so important to oneself it's so important it's so important uh, being truthful to yourself is part is the most is the first thing or is the most important thing to free yourself because you are being honest that is why we had in the good books in the holy bible that if you know the truth it's not about even knowing it's about if you know the truth you are going to be set free you're going to be free from everything and no one will get hurt i believe no one will get hurt if you are being honest you are being yourself it's not your problem if someone being hurt you are just being you are just being honest to yourself and that that means that you are loving yourself you are being kind to yourself if you are being honest to yourself number two is relationships relationships are so important to each and every one of us but there are relationships that hold us back that put us in stagnations just because our energies maybe they are not aligned with each and every relationship that we have it could be relationship like friendship family member co-workers or business partnership so energies of each and every one of us if they are, they are not resonate if they are not resonate they can cause bondages and stagnation in our lives so to free ourselves in a relationship doesn't mean we have to throw or we have to go through fights or it doesn't have to end with tears 
so you must have that you must have that look how that relationship serve you is 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 any relationship that is in your life that is putting that is always putting you down so if you are always being in in a relationship that is full of betrayal and you're not being treated well that is a sign that is the sign that you are you have you have to deattach yourself like i said you don't have to deattach yourself through fights or that, that it doesn't have to end with tears so number three is beliefs how we believe and beliefs can include extortions and how how we behave so how we behave and can can put us in a stagnation and can put us in a one place believing that believing what people have said about you negatively can can hold you back can held hold you back and can put you in a one place and by believing that anything that is that was negatively that you had can you can make it true if you believe it it means it is a truth and that can affect you negatively so you need to release that you need to you need to know what god has said about you so we must be able to 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 transform and to not to resist change we must like my topic according to my topic today is about free yourself so if you are willing to free yourself we must be able to transform and not resist and it can be uncomfortable to change i know because of fear of the unknown spirit and souls knows that we can be able to transform or to grow according to our journey here on planet earth but what makes it so hard is our third reality our mind our body and ego that makes us uncomfortable to step out of our comfort zone so our third reality knows too much what we've seen what we've heard what we've experienced so maybe if you are maybe if you are familiar with the saying that says my spirit is agree but my flesh is not agree and another one is that uh, my spirit is fighting with my flesh that one is so common so our third reality is so is full of knowing but our intuition our intuition our higher self knows better so our only third uh, reality or our ego our mind our body knows what we have experienced so it's so hard to, to, to step out of that what we what we are already knowing so but I believe you are going to be safe if you step out of that comfort zone because our higher self will not uh, put us in a in an astray okay right what makes us uncomfortable when we decide to transform or when we try to let go or to get in our to get out of our comfort zone i believe is the spirit that is pushing us that is pushing us to be to be on our right path but we must always uh, accept death so that rebirth can happen we must always accept death it's painful so that we can accept or be open to rebirth otherwise we will always be rounding on a one circle we won't grow or we won't be able to mature enough because if we are not being able to grow or to mature enough emotionally, mentally, spiritually, we won't be able to get bigger blessings. They are going to be bigger for us because God is love. God is always want you to be protected or let me say ego because God always believe in yourself. Believe that you can be able. Ego will always protect you because imagine yourself being a being able to own a big building of a of flats, but you are not uh, maturely grown uh, mentally. How are you going to handle the finances of that building or the tenants of that building? So we must be, we must have that, and we must have that understanding that things they won't come to us if we can't get, if we can, we are still holding on to. 
to old things that doesn't make that doesn't serve us to our highest good so we have to grow we have to surrender we have to we just have to surrender to to changes god universe or source give us free will to choose good or bad but i believe there is no one among your lovely souls that is choosing bad intentionally we are we are always trying our best we are always trying our best so rebirth need to happen for us to for us to 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 be able to change because the whole world is now operating on a high frequency we are evolving on a high speed of consciousness and there are things that we cannot avoid we there are things that we cannot avoid we have to go along with the energies the energies of change the way mother earth is growing and one force us to evolve or to grow so that we can be on its level so if you are avoiding of or resisting of a change that can cause so much uncomfortable situations and tensions in your body in your physical body where you will find yourself being sick, not enjoying life as it is. This is a beautiful life. This is a beautiful planet. We have to enjoy it. So beautiful souls, aren't you tired of being tired? Don't you want change in your life? Free yourself from any old things that can, that put, they have put you in a one second. Deliver yourself. Universe who is willing to support you in every step that you want to take. You know what, when, when when things are not going according to you, that is a, another sign that you have to release something. Search yourself. Listen to your intuition. So, I believe you need to release. You know where you need to release. You know when you, where you need to let go. You know where you, need, you, where you need attachment. Just release. Just trust life as it is. Sometimes when we get sick in our bodies, it's a sign, it's a very big sign that you are refusing of change. Your, bodies, your body is always responding to our spirit or our souls. Your body is meant to be one with your spirit. Your physical body always knows when it's time to change. To evolve, to ascend and to grow is connected to, to all of your oneness. You need to go along with your spirit, your body, your mind, your your emotions. So if you are refusing to to let go and to surrender, your body will respond with pains and sufferings of diagnosis. Free yourself. The time is now. Let go. Surrender. Stop being in control of things that you cannot change or control for now. Sometimes we need, sometimes we need tough love to come out of our comfort zone or to come out of that circle that we have been surrounding. So to avoid that tough love, to avoid tough love, every time when you feel uncomfortable, ask yourself, ask yourself, what is going on? My higher self, what is going on? The answers will appear to you. The answers will appear to you maybe through dreams, through synchronicities, the angels will will signal you, will give you the signals that you where you need to change. So if you have any relationship, beliefs and I forgot what 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 I the relationships, beliefs and anything that is holding you back extortions and uh, what you've said what 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 people have said to you that is negative release 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 it forgive try to forgive yourself just tell yourself that you were trying your best if you should have known better back then you should have done better so you tried your best and learn to to appreciate and being grateful for the past. The past the past has made you who you are and be grateful that you have learned from them. 
Be grateful that you have learned from them and appreciate that and thank the past that I am grateful that you have helped me to learn this. I have learned this and I release. I am now taking another step to be what I want to be. Okay, lovely souls, right? Uh, as I said, the, this decision is, is including willingness and determination to, to free yourself or to release, to release whatever you want to release that is affecting you in a present life, that is affecting you negatively or you cannot go forward. If you have to lose relationships, it's fine. If you have to lose your loved ones from your family, co-worker, or if you have to lose a career, it's fine. You are freeing yourself. I know I am not encouraging you to, to leave your jobs, but if you are not happy, please, lovely souls, do yourself a big favor. Be a, try to, to see other options, but always the first thing is to free yourself. If you need to be honest or to sit down and confront any situation or confront other people, do it. Don't wait it to, to end with tears because I've been there, I've done that. I, I know it doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. You are only destroying your life. If you are holding back, you are not confronting situations or not being honest with yourself or to other people about how you feel or how you seem to to take the, the treatment that they, they have been treated you. So, lovely souls, I believe you know that the divine power is always around you and you are supported in every way. So this video is part one. I'm going to do the part two because there's so much I want to say about this video. So, lovely souls, if you want to see me, or you want to be the first one to see this video the second video of this the part two of this video please click that notification button so that you can be the first one to see my second the part two of this video so lovely souls be blessed